Did you see what Blaine did for my wheelhouse last week? Well, if you haven't, check it out. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. Okay, so let's talk drones. You see those sailing channels? Um, we wanted to be like them. We wanted to emulate them a little bit. So I was like, this drone footage is awesome. Blaine, we need to get a drone. He was like, well, Blaine likes gadgets. So he was like, of course, let's get a drone. So first I did is like, I'm going to get a cheap drone kind of thing just to see what it's like, right? See what type of footage. So I went to AliExpress and got a little drone that kind of looked like a DJI Max. It was great. Came in in like three weeks. It was a hundred bucks. It was like, okay, well, let's try this out. So we have a new toy. We finally broke down and got a drone. However, all the instructors are, instructions are in Chinese. <laughs> and Blaine is using his phone to interpret Google it. Google Translate. <laughs> Google Translate. And now he's, what are you doing? Calibrating the geo something. <laughs> I'm supposed to turn it three times. Okay. So this is what we learned today with our new drone. Don't let it hit the ceiling. It puts holes through it. Blaine. What are you talking about? You put holes in the ceiling. Uh, what are you talking about? That is a hole through the tile. No holes. And that one. And that one. Guilty party right there. So why do we do this channel? We have a lot of fun doing it. We don't ask people to be patrons. We're not asking for money or anything. But what we do ask is, can you just help us out by building it? Subscribe. Click the little notification bell down below because then that lets you know when the weekly videos come out. I try to do it on Mondays, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes there's extra videos come out. And share. A lot of people don't share, but it really helps Blaine and I build our channel and build and like, our following. And thumbs up. And give a thumbs up. So, again, we don't ask for much. If you're enjoying your adventures, please just like, share, do all of that. Give us some YouTube love. And we really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Or sorry, we get it on the boat. Blaine's like, ah, I'm gonna try it from the boat first, not from land. Big mistake, mistake number one. So he's on the bow, we're having a couple of beverages. Um, mistake number two, you're not allowed to drink and drone at the same time. And then he's like, well, let's do it. So he set it off and you can see some of the drone footage that we have. So we are drone virgins, newbies, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Guess what Blaine's got? I didn't get anything. Janice got it, but I have it now. We're going to try it. It's right there. I'm a bit scared that we're going to try it under water, but we'll let you know how it goes. So here we go. GPS is on. Are you going to record it? Ah! <laughs> there it goes! footage is a bit um, shaky but it was kind of cool we got a little footage from above and everything well it gets down onto deck Blaine's like woohoo I landed it everything's good he's like I should stop when the going get when the going's good right you know everything's going fine let's just stop I don't know what changed his mind but suddenly he took it off again he took off again with it right so it went off and it went <laughs> right into the water and I just start hysterically laughing. The look on his face and the F-bomb he threw, I'm sorry, 
it was funny. I'm like, <laughs> I look at him like, please tell me you were recording when that hit the water because that would be epic. But no, he had forgot to turn off the video, so we don't have video of that. But that was drone number one. Hey, hey Blaine, where's the drone? In the water. <laughs> I wonder if it floats. It would appear no. Hey, you should go over in the tender. <laughs> it just lost control. It wouldn't do anything. Hmm. And then you threw the remote control. I didn't throw it. I slid it rapidly across the deck. It's not so much the expense of the drone. It was the fact that it took like a month and a half to get here. Well, it's because it's straight from China. <laughs> That's disappointing. It's kind of fun though. I think maybe we should practice in a field rather than on the deck of the boat. Maybe, but we got some okay footage. <laughs> got a little bit of footage. Mistake number one, don't fly your first drone ever off a boat. Mistake number two, don't drink a drone, even though I don't think that played a part in it. Uh, mistake number three, don't buy a drone from AliExpress. They're pretty cheap and the footage wasn't that great. But I loved it. The footage was cool, right? It was like, this is gonna be a really neat way to elevate the channel and maybe the viewers wanna see it. And we were heading to Pirate's Cove and we had found drone footage of some someone who had done a Pirate's Cove and it really helped us as cruisers to see what the cove looked like before coming in, see it from the sky. And I wanted to provide a whole bunch of videos of ports or coves around here so people knew what the entrances looked like, especially if it was a sketchy entry entrance. So cool, let's go find another drone. So we did a bunch of research and we found a new to us DJI Phantom, okay? Which is a lot bigger, this is it here. It's all apart so that can give you a hint of what's happened. Well, let's say we took it up to Pirate's Cove and still not learning our lesson. Well, actually, let's backtrack. In British Columbia, you need a drone license. So first of all, we got our drone license. Well, Blaine is an official drone pilot now. It doesn't teach you how to fly a drone, just all the rules. So we do have a drone license. It was 10 bucks to get in British Columbia. We know all the rules now and everything. So then we went up the Pirate's Cove to Corsi. And we broke rule number one again. Let's try flying it off our boat. <laughs> so he took it up to the boat. We did lots of great footage. Check it out. I'm going to put it right now. It's awesome. The Wait. drone! The Bla drone! Blaine's flying the drone! <laughs> I wonder if we should stay in the tender case. We have to save it. Yeah, we, maybe. Actually, we will just slow down a little. Should we stay out here in case we have to save it? Watch it very closely. <laughs> so we're coming up to the boat and there's this ah! drone! <laughs> I can pick up my <laughs> <laughs> it's like right there. Yeah. Quit while we're ahead. Oh, I can't. I'm not. This thing scares me. I'm not catching it. Oh my God. After getting that footage, and I love the footage, Pirates Cove is amazing. Um, and you'll see in the videos coming up, we have a two parter about Pirates Cove and all about it. So we get that footage, it's great. Blaine brings it back on deck. Josh even flew it. So much easier to fly than the AliExpress Chinese drone, whatever it was. And Blaine says, let's stop while we're ahead. Or maybe I said it. And I went inside. I thought the drone flying was over. 
But no, he broke our rule again. But Blaine said, you know what, I'm gonna just try it again. Well, he didn't realize that when he did automatic takeoff, the down button was stuck on. I have never seen Blaine so mad in my entire life. He came into this house, just, or into the boat, F this, F that, drone went in the water again, rah, rah. like you should have seen him. I'm sorry I didn't pick up a camera. It was just one of those moments where he was livid, absolutely livid. Me, I try not to laugh because that would just piss him off more, but that's my response. Usually I just laugh because it's like, okay, that sucks, but let's deal with it. The day before I had seen the sailboat next to us at mooring, they had been out diving. And I'm like, well, they've got a snorkel and mask. We don't have one on board. I know we're going to get one, but we don't have one on board right now. And the water, the drone went in about 15 feet and right below the boat, like it was there. So I said, Blaine, go get the mask. So he went over to the boat, humbly begged to borrow the mask and uh, fins. And he came back to the boat and he looked at me <laughs> and I looked at him. And he's like, yeah, I'll go get it. So my sister, who we are rafted up to, and you can see from that footage that our time was rafted up to us. She says, look, bubbles. Who knew a drone actually lets off bubbles when um, it sunk? I didn't know that. Great way to find out where the drone is. Well, check out this footage now because Blaine went swimming and the water was so cold. He actually says, actually, you know what? I'll let him describe what it's like to get in the water up here with his underwear on. Cold water. It's, um, I, I want to apologize for the video you're about to see. <laughs> um, one scene to not be unseen. Um, so jumping into the water to go after the drone, one thing that I'd read about and uh, it was something I kept in mind is when you first hit very cold water, um, your body kind of goes into a bit of shock. It, um, uh, I guess if it's cold enough, I think people have actually had cardiac arrest jumping in a car cold water. But what they say is you, you have a hard time controlling your, your body when you hit cold water. So uh, I got, I was kind of prepared when I jumped in and sure enough, when I first jumped into the water, I couldn't even take a breath. I, uh, I couldn't inhale a big deep breath to go under to pick up the drone. It was instant shock on my body. And I had to sit in the water for, well, you can see it on the video, probably a good uh, minute or so, um, just slowly trying to regain my breathing uh, before I, I went down. And after about a minute or so, the, the shock went away. I was able to take a deep breath and, and go down. So just remember when you jump in the cold water, Give yourself a minute to acclimatize because uh, at first it's a, it's a shocker. And just stay calm. And stay calm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't panic. And just control your breathing. Try to yeah. take deep breaths. Try to control your breathing. Okay. Go fast. Oh, sorry, Blaine. Oh. Cold. That's not even a word for it. Your bowl's right at the bow. Right below you. Okay, don't have a heart attack. Janice, your, your screen's gone off. Now dad's the one making bubbles. You're not gonna be able to do this, are you? I don't know if I am. Okay, come on out then. What are we in, 10 feet right now? 15. 15. Don't go if you can, all right? It's fine if you can't do it, dad. There's more important things than the drone. Yeah. Cold water therapy. Ahem, you. Blaine, it's just money. Yeah, just wait. Okay. You're more just important to, than the drone, Dad. You're what? I'm just acclimatizing. Dad, you're more important than the drone, don't worry. Oh, there he goes. Splash. If he comes up with that drone in his hands, <laughs> he totally did. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, give me that thing. Get dad out. Yep. Get him a towel. That's amazing. Do you have a towel? I do. Okay, Excuse me. Drop it down the you are freaking amazing, Blaine. So Blaine had success. He got the drone. He came out with it. Whoa, I got the drone. And then it was my turn. He handed it off and I took this drone apart as fast as possible. I rinsed the heck out of it with fresh water. 
and then I buried it in rice, like buried the whole thing and we left it for a week. Open drone surgery. So far so good though. After a week we're like, okay, let's try it. So we started putting it together. Blaine's like, you know what? I'm gonna just try the gimbal first before I start putting everything together. And guess what? The gimbal worked. Second part, he's like, well, let's start putting some other stuff together. And he started putting some other stuff together and it lit up. The lights went beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. Awesome, loved it. And then he started putting the rest together and guess what? No GPS fix. Everything on the thing works except no GPS fix and no GPS fix means no drone flying. So that was drone number two, but I do love the footage. And I don't know what these sailing channels do and cruising channels, how they get such great footage, but they've got to go through some drones. Um, we're going to go look for another secondhand new to us drone. I love the DJI Phantoms. I think they're the best drone for learning how to fly and the stability of it. So we've got a whole bunch of spare kits. We've got uh, spare parts. We've got a remote control for it. So we're hopefully just going to find just the drone, which would be a lot um, less expensive. So that's our drone story. If you watch other sailing channels and they have drone footage, give them kudos because man, it is nerve wracking, scary, and really hard to get really good drone footage in my humble opinion. So drone number three, hopefully coming up. It's going to be a little bit because first we got to go to the yard and there's a lot more expensive expenses we have to go through before we get another drone. To forget all about our drone troubles, we decided to head to Mystic Beach. Walk me in the morning sun Tell me I'm a lucky one I'm riding on the wave Of a notion that I could be brave Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know How we used to be before anyone... So we're here at Mystic Beach and I think we found our own little oasis. There's no one around and check it out. Izzy found a rope swing. Beautiful cliffs above us. We have snacks. Josh is here, which is awesome. And it's a beautiful March 15th. It's actually Blaine's in my wedding anniversary today. And look where I am. Guess where he is? At the shop working. Happy 19th anniversary, love. I'm exhausted. How are you? I'm pretty tired. That was a good hike. It was. I'm sore. But it was fun. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend it? Oh yeah. Mystic Beach, very pretty hike. Vancouver Island, West Coast Trail. Very cool. Highly recommend it to anybody. It's awesome. But we're done now. Ahoy me hearties! Join us next time when we head up to Provincial Marine Park, a Pirate's Cove on DeCourcy Island. It's got great history and it's up near Ladysmith. And we find daily treasure.